But let's look at a different kind of galvanic cell. Here I've had copper ions and copper metal in association with copper ions and copper metal in a galvanic cell. The only difference is the concentration of copper ions is lower here than here. So when current is allowed to flow, what do you think will happen? Will the darker blue solution become even darker blue, stay the same, or get lighter? Think about that for a minute and make a selection. Let's look at a possible explanation for each answer. A, electron flow, or current, will come from the copper metal making more copper ions and a bluer solution. B, nothing will happen since the same metal is in both sides of the cell. Or C, the solutions will balance just as if they were mixed, the darker becoming lighter. Think about those three and make a selection. We're talking about a concentration cell here. That's a galvanic cell where the two half cells have the same components, but the concentrations are different. Now, we've seen in other galvanic cells, if you let the cell operate, the end result is a full chemical reaction that you could have written as if everything was in one beaker. That is, the final result is the same. You run it in two half cells, or you mix everything together, and you get the same result. Well, the same is true here in this concentration cell. What would happen if you mix those two? Well, they would mix together and you'd have an equilibrium concentration at the end. The darker would become lighter blue. And that's exactly what would happen if you allow current to flow. When current flows, it would flow from this copper metal to that copper metal. It would reduce copper ions here and reduce the copper ion concentration. And that cell would go to lighter color. So the correct answer here is lighter, just as if you mix them together.